the application crashing not responding and it says thank you lex for submitting a ticket hi i recently received a new laptop and my office 365 apps word excel and outlook are crashing not responding i work in an enterprise environment and even if i in, and i even tried the microsoft quick repair and online repair and uninstalled reinstalled office 365 still experiencing the same issue hope you can assist thanks so and you work in you know enterprise environment which is great and you have office 365 apps installed but you've received a new laptop so this is probably related to that you know and because let's see are they all crashing yep are are crashing not responding so and you've uninstalled reinstall office 365 file, still experiencing the same issue hope you can assist thanks so the the main thing that i'm thinking here is that it could be related to uh you know the computer itself the laptop itself i think there is a high chance it's related to that assuming that your previous computer worked fine unless you've received a, a new laptop unless you've received a new laptop as a potential fix for this exis existential issue so meaning that if you already had this issue and then you ordered a new laptop they sent you a new laptop in order to rectify the issue and you're still having this issue then that's another issue so what could that be because there I'm, I'm making a lot of assumptions here but let's assume here that it's you started having these issues when you see the new laptop so let's start from there first thing i would check if all of these are if all of these are crashing uh i would check the event viewer here so right click on windows i kind of go to event viewer i would check that to see if there are any system logs related to the hard drive issues it's one thing when you're having problems with one application that it's crashing but when you have multiple applications that are crashing, then that's something else. And I know you said, you know, Word, Excel, Outlook, blah, 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 blah. I know they're all Office 365. They're all Office Suite. But each individual, each individual, like, you know, this Excel is a separate application. Outlook is separate application. Word is separate application. And that makes me want to think that there's something wrong with the, with the computer itself physically. So I would go to Windows Logs, go to System, go to System, and look for hard drive issues, hard drive errors is what I would do. So while it's happening, and you can do a create a custom view where you look for critical issues, this is probably the best way of going about it. And say, don't say any time, but let's say it crashed within 12 hours. If you select any time, it'll, it'll be really slow. It'll take forever, especially if you're having problems right now. Even if it, if it just happened, click last hour or something like that. But let's do last 12 hours. And I'm going to click OK. And I'm just going to click OK again just to see if there are any issues. And here's one that comes up here. And this one is a critical issue related to kernel power. Now, what you want to look for is very similar to this, except it would be hard drive. Really. It, would be, it would say HD0 or something like that if it's referring to your first hard drive meaning your C drive. So it'll be hard drive and it'll be error. And there might be error that says read or write error, or, you know, memory issue, this and that. So it would look like this, except it would be different wordage. So that's what you're looking for to make sure it's not physically something wrong with the laptop is the first thing I would look at as, in my opinion, most likely the issue, even if it's a brand new laptop that you just received, because you never know. So this kernel power is just because I've basically shut down without properly shutting down this computer. And that's what happened here. So that's one thing. And it's really hard to guess this type of stuff unless you have a hands-on experience. And this is a, a, a hands-on hands -on access, I should say. Experience definitely does help. Otherwise, I wouldn't be able to come up with these potential issues. So that being said, from my experience and using logic just by comp you know computer logic what is the other thing that's more likely so you go from the highest likely issue to the other ones just to see if it might be so you have to do some brainstorming meaning thinking about it all right so 
you know, it's are crashing and not responding. What else could be causing this? Well, we know that Office 365 relies on internet connection as well. So let's look at that. You could be having some kind of internet issues or uh, connection issues that could be causing this, which could also be seen in the event viewer just like this. You may have a you know pop-up that says your Wi-Fi connection lost or LAN connection lost. So look to this. This is your first step, which could point to multiple issues or just one issue or you know or if any issues, right? So this is your good good uh, place to check. Event Viewer is really good, especially if you are new to computer issues. If you can't find the issue, what's wrong? Go to Event Viewer for issues like this. You know, it's crashing, it's slow, blah blah blah. You know, there go to event viewer it's there for you to use so there could be some connection issue right it could also be your vpn issue and it could be uh, just your proxy issue it could be connection issues in the sense so there'll be next issues that i'll be looking at network issues so what do i mean by that so let's open up a command line and just see what we can do when it comes to connection issues you can see if there are any internet issues if you've noticed uh, well, you, let, you can pretty much ping any website and this is after you connected the VPN after you connected the company's network all of this stuff so you can ping pretty much any website and for example Microsoft.com and you can set this up to do bit 30 pings now it's going to do four and here is an issue right now pinging Microsoft.com and you know there could be reasons for this but what you're really looking for is just the timeouts like this where nothing happens so here it is we pinged it four times and it's going to uh, fail so here it is uh, sent and received zero lost four so it knows that there is the IP address it knows its location but it's not able to receive a response so that's an issue so let's do a trace route command so if you type in trace RT type in microsoft.com we're going to see the latency latency uh, in trying to reach this website so this could be done for any website but if you saw uh, suddenly a huge month of a latency here it is it's like one millisecond eight milliseconds four milliseconds this is normal anywhere in my opinion up to 100 milliseconds which is still questionable but if you're saying like 20 30 40s that's fine but if you suddenly see something over 100 that that's an issue which could be causing problems with your outlook your excel or your word or anything like that but why is that well that's because office 365 accounts are cloud-based meaning internet based right they're internet based if you will so why why does that matter well because if you are not able to authenticate because there's a period of time when you open up excel and you are logged in with your account you know you're you're logged in with your account there is a period of time where your outlook your excel word it would try to check in sort of like whenever you check in on your uh, social media let's say facebook you check in and it has to connect well it does this periodically over time just to make sure that there's authentication there's you're authenticated as well so if there's an issue with this this could potentially cause this problem anyways i think it's more likely that there is a hardware issue in this but we don't know because i don't have direct access to this and i would use dameware to log into it or some other tool other remote tool Hello, this is Irvin with PC support. My right shift is not working properly. PC support. This, okay, I have your ticket about Office 365 crashing. I think it's more likely related to your laptop hardware uh, please check your event 
viewer for critical errors under under system under system logs there is a ch small chance that this might be a connection issue as well please watch my video or let me know in response okay I'm, that's 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 pretty much it what else can i think of this here and i didn't say you know do uninstall and reinstall because you already done that so that's one of the things you could do in my opinion you know you can you know people are quick to reinstall and you know add remove programs and this is how it's done so if i go to add remove programs and if i want to repair office this is how you do it by the way this is how you repair office go to apps and features or uninstall programs or whatever and here is microsoft office professional plus 2016 and if i click modify I can do a repair from here. You know, you see here it is repair, remove, or enter uh, product ID. So I, I thought I had 2019 installed, but I guess it's 2016. It doesn't matter. So I can do a repair from here. This is how you would repair it. That's how you repair Office uh, Suite, Office products. And the same thing with Office 365 on local level. Uh, try let me do this here actually uh, in addition try using the web version of office 365 at office.com 